Welcome back guys to another video. This is Raja. In this video, we are going to look at today's stock market action for August 12th. We will be looking at Dow Jones, S&P 500, NASDAQ, their indices and their charts and see how they behave today. And we'll be looking at a couple of winners for the day and a couple of losers for the day. So let's get started. Before we move on, this is our website. Please check it out when you get a chance. Please check out all our social media sites. We are everywhere. We love to see you guys there. And please do not forget to now subscribe to this channel. I'll be doing a lot more videos on this line in coming days. As you see, the indices got a good day today. The Dow Jones posted almost 290 points gain. The S&P 500 posted almost 47 point gains. And the Nasdaq posted rock solid 230 point gains for the day. So let's look at their charts. So you guys are looking at the weekly setting for Dow Jones. I like the weekly chart because it reduces a lot of daily noise. So you can have some kind of no short term trend. Uh, you can uh, see it in the clearly in the web, in the weekly settings. And the two indicator that I follow is the 10 week moving average and the 50 week moving average. So today the index posted almost 290 points gain. And for the week altogether it's posting almost 550 points gain. So we have two more trading day to go. So as of now, the chart looked a lot healthier. It cleared this resistance. It looks like that short term 10 week moving average ready to regain the 50 week moving average, which is a good thing. So as of now, the chart looked a lot healthier for Dow Jones. And let's see how things play out in the next two days. The S&P 500 had another good day today. It's almost made an all-time high and it retraced a little bit, but uh, you know, as of now, the ch chart looked a lot healthier. So you can see here the 10-week moving average taking over the 50-week moving average. It happened in NASDAQ long back, but Dow Jones has to catch up. So hopefully the Dow Jones will also stage the same crossing in coming days. Uh, here is the NASDAQ composite. Um, it added rock solid gains, like 2.13% gains per the a day and also it's turned green for the week so it is almost posting like now one point gain for the week so we have two more trading day to go so hopefully this index is now rally and make some gains in the next couple of days so as of now the chart look a lot healthier and here is the chart of the VIX as I told you that it is still living below the 50 week moving average it looks like a lot of money is on the long side so this VIX have you no know, does not have any firepower to turn over this now stage any counter reaction to the current rally so it's struggling they're trying but they're struggling as a lot of like you no know, money on the long side so let's see whether you know this they can derail the rally or not but i believe it's not going to happen at least for a week or two so let's get back to the website today is the tracker you can look at the tracker here we have over 377 stocks in the open list and you know pretty much all the stocks went up today only 85 stocks put on the hostess posted the losses and here are some of the winners for the day and here are some losers for the day like nvax uh, tsg they lost some ground but if you look at the heat map the green like you know over took the red today as most of the stocks went up so you can click on any of this uh, link uh, sticker symbol and you can see the detailed view of what is the uh, entry point, exit point, stop loss, and other things. Okay, let's look at the winner. Today winner is Tesla. I did a video on Tesla split yesterday. I didn't like it, but that doesn't matter. I'm still bullish on this stock. So it's posted almost 13% gain for the day. Hopefully the split like, you know, does not derail the stock's uh, upward momentum. Uh, as of today, it's off for another entry point, which is around uh, 1554 to 1632 so it's offered one more entry point today so if you guys want to now take a look at it you can start with a small pilot buy so let's look at this chart as you see this stock was not struggling here around the 1500 price level it does not able to know regain the 1500 price level it's always just goes up and comes down and also like you now it was ready to not test its 1350 price level it tested that today and it bounced back like when I tested that yesterday it's bounced back and it's also cleared this resistance line so if you want to have a small bullet buy it's worth to you know take a shot at it this stock at this time 
The next one is the Blink uh, uh, charging company. Uh, it's also now posted almost 13% gain for the day. So all together is posting 64% gain since 7.22. So hopefully now the stock can rally uh, a couple more points from here. I believe it's reporting the earnings tomorrow. So let's see how things plays out. So what is the one liner? Uh, today, all the leading growth stocks like Apple, Microsoft, Netflix, so many stocks, you can take it, all the leading growth stocks, they bounce back hard, and the NASDAQ also now posted rock solid gains uh, for the day. So as of now, the rally look a lot healthier. So let's see how things plays out in the next two days. And thank you guys for watching this quick video. Please check out our website. I will put the today's recap link in the description section. So you can check it out whenever you want. And please check out all our social media sites. We are everywhere. We love to see you guys there. And please do not forget to now subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing a lot more videos on in many stocks and indices in coming days. And have a great week.